I'm Annie from Bad Squidder Games and today I'm going to try and do a tutorial for you. Today we've announced that we'll be partnering up with Sarissa Precision, who are ace, to both tie in their existing range and potentially be working on some new things that can work for both of us, which is very exciting and I can't talk too much about the ideas yet because then people will just keep pestering me. So, <laughs> But if you can dream it, it might be a thing. So anyway, uh, currently the first release we have today is a tractor. There we go. And that's pretty cool, they've put the Squidder logo on as well. Yay! It's a bit of legitimacy. Um, so the tractor is sold on its own. Currently on Sarissa you can only get it with the trailer, but this is just the tractor. And, oh, I've just noticed how glare the light is. Um, <laughs> You can get just the tractor or various bundles that I've thrown in. So here it is. And as a terrible MDF assembler, I am going to try and do it without previously opening it either. Look how spammy the back of their packaging is. It's amazing. I'm in awe. Follow us. Follow Sarissa. They're very good. Woo. So yes, let's get to it. Yeah. If I can get into it. I know I'm becoming one of those people. Watch me struggle. Yay! I'm going in. There's no going back now. Going in. Slowly. Right. I'll do a top down in a moment, don't worry. Oop. So here are the instructions. And on the back, it's quite impressive. It does, it won't focus because it'll be being silly. Oh yeah, it has step-by-step -step instructions, which I'm really happy about, so I don't have to try and figure out what they might mean. It does explain it all. So, in theory, I should be able to build it. And, oh, they even have a nice little, um, how to paint them up if you want to paint them up as well. Obviously they look way better when they're painted up. Here is the kit. This is going to make our tractor. And so is this little bit. That's the bendy, bendy bits. <laughs> right, let's try and get this camera to work and not an annoying autofocus and build a tractor. Right, so here we go. This is what you get. And also with the video, this is what you get because I'll be popping things out and we won't be able to go back. So, you will get the real time, I'm afraid, Annie building a tractor. So, number one, glue the chassis centre panels together. That's them there. I probably should have got my glue up. There you are. I've got the glue. There's the chassis. Oh, yeah, I should keep an eye on whether you can see me doing it. Uh, it's recommended that you use a knife to cut out these things, but I am a monster. And the hopeful aim of the tutorial is to show that even being a monster like myself, you can assemble this. I might move the camera a little bit. So glue these two friends together. I've dropped that already. <laughs> Should probably talk about something interesting so you're not bored out of your skull. And it's not live, so I can't request any cool thing. Uh, World War Two. We're going to be doing lots more home front. And as well as well as the Soviets. I like them both so much, but unfortunately, this is the bit that sucks is that you need money. So that sounded like a, a big money thing. <laughs> she says I'm not I'm not trying to find a brush that I can wreck with glue at all. You can also use a spatula for these, which are much better, but again I've uh, I'm doing it on the fly because it's it's Friday night. And not that I've got anything else planned. Let's just move that to there. But I don't want to spend hours doing this, and it's to get you a gist. If I was a proper good YouTuber, I could do a speed through it. And you'd be like, whoa, she did that so quick. But again, this is the live, well, not live to you, but the full speed assemblage. Already glued the wrong bits, but never mind. <laughs> oh no, you won't see that, so it's okay. I like I like putting the outer nice burnt bits on the outside, but it's going to be painted, so it doesn't matter. So 
Have I, have I mess, messed up again? I have messed up. That's not the chassis at all. See? But I'm not... See? I could have started again, got a new tractor. I do have a large stack of tractors. But I'm not. This is the legit experience. Right. They did look kind of similar. I think they look kind of similar. But you're probably thinking, oh, Annie, come on. Oh, no, I am right. I am right. Sorry. <laughs> This is this isn't good, is it? Right, here we No, they don't join. How do they join? Have I got the wrong piece? Can do it. Can do it, Annie. Those two definitely join. These two oh, it's because I'm holding it upside down. This is ridiculous. <laughs> it's not the, the tractor's fault. It is definitely my fault. Now, when you are assembling these sort of MDF things, it's because that caught me off. There being an extra little wiggly is that extra wiggly bit supposed to be there? Yes, yes, that's the hitch for the trailer. Yes, there we go. Um, yes, you can with some of these, really, if you want to be super strong, you can hold them together with some bulldog clips or anything like that. But again, I'm a, I'm a bodger. I'm impatient, a terrible hobbyist. So now we're on slot and glue the floor panel to the chassis centre. That is slot and glue. It's free. Slot and glue the base axle to the floor panel. Okay, so I think they go. Hey, they go through here. Ah, that's nice. So where do I put the glue? Let's bodge some glue down there. When I first did MDF, I used to use super glue, and I'd get in the right state. I was being over over cautious. So that's them there. And that friend goes into here. I really hope I build a tractor by the end of it because it's not going to work if I've built a tent or a guinea pig home somehow. I've gone into default mode. So that looks right. I'm so glad this isn't live because there'd be someone in the comments going, you've done it wrong and I wouldn't know if you were joking or not. So that's there. It's because I was trying to be interesting and talk. Bonus of painting it is if you get a bit of glue mess, it's okay because you're going to paint it. So this friend now goes into this friend. Into there. Yeah, that's nice. So let's blob some glue here. I am the worst person to be showing you how to do MDF, but again, if I can do it, so can you all. So that drops into, again, you probably need more glue than I am, but it take me even longer and I'm sure you'll be already complaining that the video is painful. So there we are, we're up to number four. Oh, let's show you on there properly. Yeah, it's what it's looking, tractory maybe. Oh, here we go. Pass the exhaust pipe through the engine panel. Number five. Oh. Then pass the exhaust, oh, it's obviously two exhaust pipes through the second engine panel. That's okay, you can do that. So we look like this. And yours won't take as long if you're not as terrible as me. So that looks like an engine, like an engine panel, an exhaust pipe. Again, knives are better, but look, you can manhandle it as horrifically as I am. And it still works. It's really nice thick ply actually. I'll ply MDF. I like that. So, oh, there's those two. And we also need the engine sides. So I know what those are. <laughs> hey. Uh, yes, what I was saying before, I want to do a lot more Soviets, a lot more home front. And I usually get loads of suggestions and I want to do all of them. Do you think I need to boat those holes out? No, I don't reckon so. Um, yeah, I want to do them all, but unfortunately, making minis costs money. So I have to do little waves now and again, and it's sometimes choosing what's what could be the most profitable. Hang on, that. <laughs> what, the air intake pipe? Oh no, we're still on four. I've gone ahead. Oh, that's the exhaust. 
Pass the exhaust pipe through the engine panel. Oh, what am I doing? <laughs> no. Oh, I can see that doesn't go into that hole. I hope you're enjoying this. So, where do they go? Again, being extra careful, because I am a strange creature for mucking these up. So does that go in? <laughs> Sorry, I'm not even putting it in camera. Um... Before, pass the exhaust panel through the engine panel. I know what I'm doing. I'm uh, I'm looking at the steps instead of the piece number. So the exhaust pipe is this. The engine panel is this. I need to place it through. Here we go. Uh, but it's this one. I know that, that rogue thumbs down person will be here and I know Liza you're going to do it just to annoy me. I'm immune. So that goes there. Pass the exhaust pipe through the chassis and glue the second panel. Is it there? Hey that's looking... no. There. This is a terrible example. That goes at the top of there. Aha! There, that's the hole. Got it, we've got it. So that goes in through there and you glue it, which I'll do now. And then you get the engine side panel onto here. Also bear in mind that I'm panicking slightly because I'm on video and I know I'm not going to be able to go back. So it's really not as hard as I'm suggesting. I'm not going to glue it. So there we go. That through there. Now glue the air oh the second engine panel so let's get the glue out this time so now I know where it's going and hey the bonus of this is you'll think hey I thought Annie was really cool and daunting but she too struggles assembling a basic tractor so something 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 aha I know what I was I was confused because I made the mistake of looking ahead so we're now I need to make an eye on this. I'm focusing so hard on my tractor. So glue the air intake pipe in place, which appears to be here. No, nope. there. And that goes into there. Oh, I see now. <laughs> There's um. Actually, I'll show you here. The uh, looking at what I've been failing on. Oh, hang on. There we are. The, the parts are actually colour coded, which I've only just noticed. So that's yellow and it goes into that yellow hole. That's brown and it goes for all the brown holes. So they're actually really clear instructions and I can't follow them, but I am following them now. I'm getting here. And I know Steve from Sarissa will end up watching and face palming. But how can you not know? Hello, my name is Annie. I don't hobby very much. <laughs> I know you're going to stick around though to see the uh, the amazing uh, Soviets, the amazing home front ladies. I've put too much glue on there. Oh, and that's the bit that you can see. So I'm just going to wipe a bit off with the brush. It's going to end up a little shiny. But <laughs> look at the state of my brush. Get that off there. And I've just realised we're at a total 90 degree. So I'll try and do things there. Uh, I'm new, I'm new to videos, don't be mean. So right, glue <laughs> glue the driver tank end panel, which is number eight, into place. So the tank end panel, I'm imagining is, oh no, that's a side panel. So if there's side panels, hmm. Oh, I know. It's got two. There he is. It's this one. It's this bit. Oh, there we go. Imagine me trying to build something big. Maybe the smaller things are harder to build, though, because they're so fiddly. So we have a thing that's looking like a thing. So let's glue the thingamy in. It says about here. Is it that? I think it's that? No. No, that's not it. 
Driven's Panel. Here's the bit, there's the slope. It does look like there. I'd help if I had a picture of what it looks like at the end. Because I just don't... Oh, of course that goes there! Yes! Yes, that makes so much sense. So, oh, does it go there? Oh, gosh. There would... Yeah, there makes more sense. There, look, it'll go all the way down. There we go. I could have some 12 minutes of me making a tractor. Again, this is this is uncensored, uncut. What more do you want? So now we're on glue radiator panels nine and ten to the chassis front. I can see those nine and ten. So I can show you my choosing choosing choice. This is where you can shout out. I can see it. There it is. There the there the fellas. Even with my um my rough punch handout manner. They punch out really nicely. Oh, I need the, the rim as well. Is that you? Got a hole in the middle. Fellow with a hole in the middle. God, I'm about as good as this as jigsaws. It is like it's like one of those 3D puzzles. Am I looking at 13? Is that too the Oh the gradient panels in here? This is the card. Aha! Again, I am going ahead and uh, being troublesome. So, we got this so far. Can you see it's looking very tractory? Yes. You're committed now. If you're still watching, you're in. You're in and you want to see the end of it. It's like those awful viral videos where you, you don't have any interest but you want to see the end. But you won't fast forward. <laughs> Look at that. Right. Blue radio panels, radiator panels to the chassis front. So you go like that, you go on top, dob some hairy glue on. Again, those um, spatulas are rather good. But this seems to be doing the job, to be fair. And I would be neater and better. I've, I've already realised that my, my job on Art Attack will never happen from this, this Art Attack interview video. So they're glued together and they will glue on the front here, I guess, or there, hang on, there's a hole there and a hole there. They must glue there, it just feels like there should be a, another hole. It's there, it's, oh it's there, there we go, blob some glue. Sure, if you can hear the sound of me panicking, I was going to talk to you about some more interesting World War II stuff. But this is taking up all of my brain. There we go. So the front is on. Glue the tank panels to the chassis. Note: when gluing the tank panels in place, reverse alternate panels. This will make the tank smoother. Uh, number eleven. Oh, I see. Reverse. Oh, I see. That's, oh, this will be fun. So here we are. Here's the tractor, looking rather tractorly. And these, oh, <laughs> popping bits out. These are all the tank panels, all these bits. So let's pop those out. And I believe he means, you know how I said there's the good side and the bad side, which mean nothing, it's just how they look alternate them to make it smoother. That's pretty nice. Let's pop them all. Oh, that's satisfying, isn't it? I could have just done a video of this. Are there videos of people popping out game pieces? There must be. That's why I can never sell my secondhand games, because I, before I do anything with it, and then probably don't do anything with it, I always pop all the bits out. I also wonder who's watching on mute, because they're fed up with me. Right. All the bits popped. There they are. What could possibly go wrong? That's the front of the tractor, I think. <laughs> it is, I can see where the steering wheel goes now. We're on to a winner. So these bobbins, uh, let's show you that way. I think they all pop along like this. Yeah, they're lovely. Oh, 
but alternate them back and forth. So that would be good. Uh, I think so. Yeah. So if I put it on the side so you can see see what I'm actually doing. Dun, dun, dun. Plop some glue on because I don't want to take up all your time. That'll do. If I was to do it myself properly, I'd glue each bit in between, but this will hold them on. So on there. And then you good side up. Oh, let's get it so you can see them. Although actually I need to see it too. <laughs> I think this is the first assembling video I've ever done. Welcome. And then so Reverse alternate panels. Yeah, I think that I think I've got this right. Oh, when gluing the last panel, it may need sanding to fit, so it's going to be a tight fit. Let's glue these quickly. So if I need to bodge, so in you go, one in you go. There's not enough glue on this, so they're not going to be rather straight. Let's put a bit more on now. So next in our World War II range is going to be ATS, which is amazing because I've had them planned out from the start and then I added up how much everything would cost and realised I didn't have the budget for it, which is why the Wave 1 was mostly Land Army and the Mums Army. But now we can do a small wave and again each wave just sort of funds the next wave. I hope I'm doing this right. And I guess when you're doing it, you won't have the stress <laughs> of, of doing it in front of people, even though you won't see this for a bit. Feel as if you're there, judging. But maybe you're not. Maybe you're uh, thinking, oh, she's doing a good job there. Oh, what have I done? No, nope, I'm okay. I'm okay. So where did 12 go? I feel like I don't have enough of the the Ghiblis. Oh, there's one more I've missed out. That's why. The Ghiblis. There we are. Quality. Pop this out. What I love about stuff like, well, well the hobby in general, but all of this, is that it's only £8 and you get so much time out of it. So the assembly time, then doing all your fancy bits, painting it up, doing if you depending again how... How much time you want to put into it. Oh, maybe I'm missing one more Ghibli. Have I got them all? Yeah, I was just concerned it might be too tight, but maybe I assembled it too loose. So all of that can get squeezed in. It does feel like there should be one more, but they all go there. That's where I realise I have done something terrible. Right. There we are then, sorry about that. So, definitely no more Ghibli bits. Ghibli bits. Uh, no, they're different Ghibli bits. What I tend to do is get bored, <laughs> get bored, stop assembling things, and then I go off to do something else. And then it's dried, and I've done it wrong, and then I try and split it up, and it's all fun. There we are, so there's that. One's by all time. Oh, there's some in the picture. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh, there is one more. Where is this extra Ghibli? I'm staring at it. Seventeen. Well, there's seventeen on the picture. I just don't want to do it wrong as I'm showing you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Oh well, no! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Oh, fifteen. This is exciting viewing, isn't it? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-
One, oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. What have I got? <laughs> That's the end bit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Fifteen. Now, I don't know if I'm losing my mind. Fifteen there. One, two, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, four, fourteen, fifteen. Hmm. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe they did the instructions and decided that fifteen was perfectly fine, which this seems to be. So, right, sorry about that. Just me being being sure. And yeah, that's incredibly wobbly. Sorry about that also. But 23 minutes in. Let's go. Right. Um, glue the tank panel to the chassis. Note when gluing the tank panels. Oh no, I've done that. Uh, glue the flywheel panel to the underside of the chassis. What is that? Number 12. Oh, sorry, I'm looking at this, not showing you. So that's where we're at now. Number 12. Oh, these fellas. So there, these fellas. These little friends can go under here. So YouTube videos are apparently supposed to be under 15 minutes. Or people lose interest. I wonder how many watch the start and then fast forward to see if I'm crying and it's on fire. Right, that's what I would do, to be fair. I have a really bad attention span. She built the tractor yet? That's what I want to know. Right, so they're four bits. I can't possibly screw that up. I do have the feeling I've got something wrong, but just double check the picture. This is me. Yeah, that seems that's looking correct, don't you think? Yeah. Oh, sorry, everything's tilted. I'm at a side. Something to bear in mind for next time. So anyway, back to the instructions. So these bits go under here. I'm assuming they go on this far, far end. Oh no, they don't. <laughs> I'm terrible. There they go. That's where they are. I was just about to glue them here. And you'd have been watching, screaming, no, Annie, what are you doing, you fool? But it's okay. You don't have to be the best at things. As long as you got a thing that looks vaguely okay, then what the heck, eh? So these, these friends go here, and I'm sure people will say, hey, Annie, we couldn't see half of what you were doing. It's all fine. Again, I'm a noob, so... I'll learn more. So there we are, that's the end of piece. That's a lot smoother. I'm saying that's a bit wibbly, but I think it's part to do my rushing. And not putting much glue, which means these bits. So when you do it, make sure you sort of take your time, put a nice bit of glue in between each ridge, and that'll, that'll help it all be super good. So, let's have a look. I think that's coming along like a tractor. And nobody can see otherwise. So, glued the flywheel panels. It also tells you what the things are, which is really sim so simple. It's a small thing, but I really like it, rather than just giving you part A, part B. So, for example, I know that that's the air intake pipe, and that's the exhaust pipe. And that, <laughs> she says, read again, are the flywheel panels. So now we need to glue the card radi glue on the card radiator panel. Obviously these are just radiator cap panels. But made in card. Oh yes, so this is the extra piece in card. I was going to say, I don't know why it's in card, but it's obviously so it's nice and thin. So ply might not be as friendly. So I think it just goes there. Yep. So some glue. Oh shit, sorry. <laughs> oh well. I'm sure you can manage. Right, that goes onto here. Yeah, also master 
and to assemble things and make you be able to see them. So there's a little bit of glue there, but once that dries, it'll be clear. So you'll be pleased to know of these, these rules, these, oh, there we go. We've done this, yes! So we're now on this bit, which looks a lot simpler. And it's at the point of building where you can kind of see where, where things are going. So when you're doing that skeleton. So glue the driver's seat in place. What is the driver's seat? This looks like a driver's seat. I reckon that is it. Mm -hmm. um, make sure he's sitting on it the right way. He. <laughs> she will totally be sitting on it. There's currently no driver for this tractor. Hmm. What can we do about that? Uh, we are, as I speak, working on a driver. But I need to get this... Um, Annie assembled monstrosity over to my ca my caster, my sculptor Alan Marsh, and say make me a lady that fits on here. And I think well the uh, the dollies we've already had made will fit on there, which is pretty lovely. But I'll make sure it fits perfectly for this particular tractor, which would be really cool. Glue the card steering wheel in place. That has got to be this. This is much more recommended with a knife because you won't bend or snap any of it getting it out, but not here on Annie TV, Land of the Brave and Strangely Confidence. There we go. And remember, until recently I was pre 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 pretty petrified of doing any sort of video. So I'm just ploughing through all of these because I'm getting better. And I've been speaking to uh, I've been speaking to some other companies to try and get them on my live videos, and they've all mostly been a bit scared, which is perfectly okay, because I am very scared. So I've been trying to convince them that through exposure, not that sort of exposure, but through exposure to doing things that you're a bit scared of, you do eventually find that they're okay. So glue, where are we? Glue the air filter to the air pipe. Hmm, that's number 16. So there must be a little disc. Hmm, <laughs> there's a few little discs. Uh, where do they go? Oh, that's really clever. So they look really similar to this, but they go on wheels later. This is the one you want, and it's right next to the pipe. Again, small things, but they massively help. Very clever, thank you, Sarissa. Oh. <laughs> so there we go. So blob, oh gosh, too much glue on there. Less glue than that. Again, and I'm never going to get my blue te blue Peter job. Also, I swore, so it won't be very good. I'm excited. It is looking like a tractor now. Boop boop. <laughs> um, glue the air filter to the air pipe. Glue the mud guard panels to the chassis base. Oh no, I must have missed something. Oh, these are the mud guard panels. I'm I'm getting excited about this because the they're gonna get to pin them. But I must put their supports on first. And as you get through MDF kits or any kits, be like plastic kits as well. The process of elimination of what parts you need is a lot easier. So these go here, I believe. Yeah, that fits nice. Do you reckon? People that aren't live? There we are. So blob it on. Pop you there. That's that. Okay. The stuff's gonna go on there, so I don't mind leaving a little pool. And in there. Oh, there it is. Oh, is <laughs> yay, I did it right, I think. Yes, yes, I did do it right. I know it's that they, they're not totally symmetrical, but I have happened to have put them on the right. Yes. My only concern is getting the lady in there, but I think what might be best is to not put the steering wheel on till last. And if you've bought it and then you buy the the seated driver 
you can easily take that off and replace it. Or I'm kind of tempted to give actually yeah, kind of tempted to give her a, a steering wheel of her own, but it all depends on many factors. Uh, right, you want to see a tractor? Let's do a tractor. Glue the air filter, the airplane. Glue the card mud guards. Shape the card mud guards and glue in place. This is it. And we get one life. <laughs> and this is a pretty fancy way of living it. We get these out. Shape them. So I reckon shape. Oh god. <laughs> I was going to shape them round, but the glue's still wet. So let's just shape them round here. Do a bit of the old bends. So they've got these lovely bits of curving. Checking that is the way that you actually. Yeah, that'd be the way you bend them, surely. She says. <laughs> Not checking the other things. Oh, yeah, so the little lines are on the inside. We'll give them a bend. Yeah, it would have helped bending it round the thing before I glued it. So I'd recommend to you waiting until that's dry. Ooh. Waiting until that's dry and then bending it round, but not on any brush TV. So that goes on the inside. We're nearly at the end. I don't want to call any alarm. So they glue on there. This is definitely a point where where pausing and um, waiting for things to dry would be good, but doing it all in one go. So just be aware of that, that like this point right now would be a really good, well, before putting this glue on, would be a good pause point to get this really strong here. Right, so then we just, so that's the, just putting this across. Oh gosh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what am I doing? This definitely needs to be glued. Oh, I didn't put enough glue down here either. So, just come on, little friend. I know you're not going to be perfect. Just holding it on there, letting it take. Hmm. It's got to be a better way. You know where clips come in. I feel like putting it on before you put the what they called the mudguard panels on. Then you could clip it easier. Come on, are you going to stay? No! I might super glue it for purposes of speed up. Oh, she says, I think super glue. I will. So don't try this at home. Just aware that we're on 34 minutes. And yes, you will be longing for a YouTuber that would have cut and edited, but I don't have time. So let's get that super glue on. Ooh. So with all the messy uh, PVA as well. If I hold that on, it'll, it'll make nice friends. Come on. Come on, super glue. Don't let me down now. People expect results. And results they will get eventually. Some sort of results, anyway. Or will I? Will I cave and make another video? Pretend that's my first tractor. Aha! There we go. Right, I'm going to wipe that off. Super glue here. Again, I like to be totally honest. And sometimes when I bugger things up, which I do, I like to just say, hello, I've buggered something up. Because mistakes are fine. This is what I'm hammering in at the moment. Not everyone is perfect. Nobody's perfect. Nobody's perfect. There we go, just holding this on so it takes. I think the other, oh no, it's okay, it's just fell off at the front. Just put another bit more. Again, this is not the best specimen of tractor. It's my my rushed. Let's get that down there. This bit here needs to. You <laughs> had more glue. But it is. This is well. I would do a better job if I wasn't um, doing it like this. But ah, <laughs> oh no! 
know. <laughs> See, it's happening. I thought maybe once I won't screw this up. But not even the bright lights could save us. Come on, drive for me. We're nearly there. It's because I put the PVA on. It's freaking me. It's just like all the glue in the world. Yeah, I definitely put this on before putting the... Because you could really put some good clamps around here. In fact, I'm going to clamp it with my hand. There we go. That bit's on. Oh, if I could clamp with both hands here, then... And we're on to something. I think the glue's freaking out over there. This is where I sell no tractors because everyone thinks, oh my god. But it really is okay. It's because I'm trying to rush it. That's that's not working over there. But here it is. So I think I can let go of you. You're being good. As she says, glued to it. Please stay on. That's all I ask. Let's hold a bit more. This is where I should do a cut. But again, I just... I don't have time. I have time to sit here holding this tractor. It's Friday evening and I've got I've got guinea pigs that need some some extra hugs. So I want to make this video then upload it. I'm gonna put the super glue on again. I'm sorry. No no no. The videos will get better. Oh look at this tractor though. It is working. Yeah, if I can do it under pressure li live, it's not live, but it feels live, then you can do it too. And hopefully, where I've made the errors, you may have made the errors yourself, but now you know. Here we are, this is way fine. So yeah, you'll think she's had a right palaver with those wheel trims, but... If I glue them on before I glue them to the the rest of the tractor then bonanza oh no oh no i've got a finger attached but not not to the thing <sighs> well just having a little read ahead nearly there if this could just be at friends then i could be assembling the wheels um, i think i can let go now i'm not there <laughs> right. Arr. Come on. It's there, it's just popping up because I've not got enough pressure on it. Because I'm trying to speed ahead too quickly. Again, I was just thinking, I'm going to cut this, but it goes against everything I've been saying in the video about not cutting it. And I think you might be suspicious as to what I've cut, so... Sorry. Right. Stay. Stay. It's nearly... It's nearly ready. Elastic bands are really good for holding these down. I probably should have bent the card a bit more too. But we're nearly there. Oh, crap. Come on. Come on. Yeah, I think bending the card around first, then gluing on a flat surface, then adding these on is definitely the way to go when I do my second tractor. Right, let's pull that down. It's over there. It pops up, it pops up. Right, wheels. Uh, gluing the mud guards shape. Glue the front axle to the chassis. I'm not going to do that yet because I'm not going near that tractor. So I will pop it out and that will show me that I need to do that there. So glue the front wheel panels to the axle, glue the centre boss, basically build the wheels. And I'm going to do that off the tractor. I'm going off the instructions. It's all going to, it's all going to go bad. Right, so I'm guessing that's a wheel, that's a wheel, that's a wheel, and that's a wheel. So you're perking up now. Just didn't want to cut ahead and maybe you thought I'd swap the tractor out or or screamed. And again, just to make sure it's not the tractor's fault. I thought it was the tractor. 
I'm really chuffed with him. He's looking nice. He. I don't know why the tractors are he, but the vehicles are all she's. I just feel like calling things little fellas. It's my tractor's my little fella. Right, so that's those wheels. Do some poppins. So you're. Yeah. Right. Oh, we've nearly popped. Ev In fact, I'm going to pop everything out. That's never gone wrong for anyone. So the only things left are these little buddies, which I am going to use at all because I've got these little. <laughs> I've got a file with a blob of green stuff on the end, so that's perfect pokery. Oh gosh, don't lose that. There we go. Don't lose you. You are my friend. And you. And you. So a dream I've had. A dream is in not a sleepy dream. It's still a whole battery. So we're part of hell loads of women in anti-aircraft. But it's even a whole women's battery. And I'm gonna make it. And Sarissa are gonna help me. I don't know it fully yet. Do I? So that's a wheel. And then that attaches to this. Oh gosh, here we go. <laughs> That's good. That's good enough for the purposes. Right, let's get glue in. Let's get PVA in. Where's the bush? Those poor little guinea pigs. They haven't had their tea yet. I'm surprised you can't hear them weeping. You might be able to. They come in and went, hello, Annie. They went, hello. I'm going to do a video before I sit down and don't do anything. And then I'll feed you. And they went, no, my lines are terrible, how can you do this? Mm -hmm. Glue in a tractor wheel with too much glue and under pressure because you've been watching me for too long. Can't even rhyme a song. There we go. Let's make these wheelies. Obviously don't leave them too long so it'll be a rookie. Oh gosh! <laughs> Done that one wrong, but I'm going to keep it like that. Or have I? Because you can see all the way in there. Did that? Oh, that, yeah, that line does. That's, so that, that bit goes on the inside, obviously. Silly Annie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you leave these for too long without attaching them to the tractor, the glue will end up in there and uh, it'll be a lot harder, apparently, according to someone anonymous that isn't me. Da -da -da. Also bear in mind that I, I do hobby like once a year and this is probably it, so <laughs> it's almost like watching a newbie do it. The last... Oh, I see. Oh, this is lovely. The last... um. MDF, well, um, not MDF, but laser cut I assembled was a, a well from foreground, and that was fun. But again, had lots of those bendy bits that I managed to screw up. So wheels, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna touch the thing. Oh, I need to put the chassis on. Let's put the chassis on now. Don't touch the mud guards. Have I got the chassis the right way up, or in the right place? <laughs> there we go. So that goes there. We're getting there now. It's fine. It's fine. Thank you for staying with me. So, even though I keep going off cam, I'll get that set up better next time. Each one gets better, or well, each one of its own type, doesn't it? Again, this is a point where I would leave it, let that dry so it's nice and strong. But not me! So now we chuck the wheels on, so rob in the glue. I'm being very careful because obviously this is still wet. And don't try this at home. So front wheel, we're nearly there, we're at the wheel stage. Faith. Once I got over that bit where my brain melted. Oh, here we go. You know what? I'm gonna take I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna break the rules again. I'm gonna put the wheels on. <laughs> oh my, what have I done? That's why you weren't supposed to. That's what going through. There we are. 
That's better. There's little blobs. Oh, there's little blobs at the end. But you know what? I thought, oh, I've pushed it through too much. No, I haven't. These little friends go on. And this is where me doing the video um, in one, one unadulterated take works because you can see my little hacks. So yeah, putting these wheels on first, although it'll probably change the weight once I put it on, but I didn't want to hammer into the tractor too much. So that's that. The wheel, that's on backwards, <laughs> but you probably won't see. Oh no, that's the one. That's the one's on backwards because it's nice and nice and plain. So push through. Yes. And there's a little knobbly bit. Oh, I'm glad I'm actually doing something now rather than just staring at the mud guards but longing for death. There we are. Yes, all these things are easier when you're not under pressure and on a camera. So the wheels here are done. What's that? And yeah, tweezers and all that all that stuff. It's generally good. But not the bodging anyway. I wonder what goes there. Oh, I know. Hmm? <laughs> Hopefully, I've not. Uh... Oh, that's just a bit. That's just a bit of the tractor. That's fine. So this goes here. Oops, sorry, I'm going off camera again. And this goes in here. Hey, <laughs> that's a bit dense. Push that back in before it dries. Thought that was going to break off then. Um, maybe not swear. Right, so despite my sucking, that is looking like a nope, <laughs> looking like a damn fine tractor. I've just got the back wheels. So these are as fun again. So you just put that's double that's either side. So this one, oh no the big spoke. Big spoke inwards. Then this spoke. Then this one, then this one. Oh, that's nice. And where does that go there? Oh, yeah, that's really pretty. Have I done it right? No, I haven't done it right. So they've got to line up, surely. Yeah. So I'll glue them all like that. It's a nice wheel. So, any bodge glue? Gluing the wheels on a tractor, that's what I want to do. Oh, well, I've put the glue out too much. I was thinking about my excellent song there, and knowing how much you absolutely love my excellent song. So these must fit there. Lovely. Bit more glue. Holy crap, you're thinking, this tractor is finally going to be finished. Right, that goes there. I'm getting all this. I assume I've got this right. I've never. Yes, see, I've never massively studied tractor. I know, I'm sorry. How dare I? I've let all the tractors down. I should have done this as. Yeah, <laughs> I should have done this as a live um, paint long type thing, but I'd have been so distracted by everyone in the comments screaming each time I'd done it wrong. <laughs> it's better that I find out that it's wrong. I'd have been under way more. Then too. So, I've got all these. Just got to get this because I've set the focus away from autofocus. Just got to set this so it's as straight. Don't worry, I'll give you a proper look at it once it's complete, too. Oh, they've got little wigglies as well. Oh, what are you? Right. Last bit. We're nearly free. My land army will be so excited, they're over there going, oh, we've nearly got a tractor, but no one can drive it, no. So they're currently on a driving course for tractors, are they? I think back then there wouldn't be a driving course, they'd just say, get on the tractor, pull that, there's your gear, have fun. There's that. This bit here. Just need to check it so you can still see. Oh 
must blow the clay, we're almost there, we're almost there. Painting a track. Oh, we won't be painting it tonight. This one won't get painted by me because I'm going to send it to Alan as a scale tractor. But if it survives going back and forth, I may paint it. But I think I'm going to get another one to paint. Once now I know, <laughs> now I know the mega flaws of um, how not to assemble it. I'm going to have round two and paint that baby up. Right, so I guess you just blob the glue here. See what I mean? I've abandoned the. Uh, the instructions for, I guess you just blob on glue. Oh yeah, that's satisfying. Oh crap. Gotta be careful around here because of my cock up earlier. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Right, let's, yes, put you on, you go on that way. I don't want to push it too hard, but once I've got the other wheel on, then I can squeeze them together in theory, maybe. So, That can go on there. Please don't break off the wheel guards. This is where putting them on as instructed ah, would be better. But plot twist. I make my own rules. Oh no! Oh no! I've done a terrible. I've not lined that up straight at all. At least I've noticed. So that's. Oh no! Oh no! We all know how awful I am now. Oh no, not even that! Pulled the wrong bit off. Oh gosh. Oh, oh no, how embarrassing. God, it's so... <laughs> once, you... once they're glued on, they are stubborn. Come on, don't break. Please. Yes, there we go. Yes. Ne oh, I'm doing it off cam again. Probably for the best. <laughs> right, so that bit square on. There we go. So I was trying to line the spokes, well tyre, not the spokes, the tyre tread up, but I wasn't focusing on where the, the hole is. There we go, right now that, and that, <gasps> that one's gone on, hasn't this? So I made the same error here. No, no, I'll take you off. No, you're okay, just need a bit more brute force. Oh no, tractor's, <laughs> tractor's turning. You see how tractory it's looking though? It's pretty cool. Ah! Pull you off, what have I done? What have I done? Right. I'll poke that through. Again, entirely my fault. I'm supposed to build the wheels up on the axle, but I built them up first because I was rushing. So don't do that. Don't be an Annie. The worst. Right, did my old ram some glue in. So close. Come on, tractor. If there's an optimum way to oh no, it says sideways. No sideways. Already disobeyed it enough. I think it just needs a bit of pressure, but I'm conscious enough, put too much glue there. No. There we are. Oh. Almost. <laughs> oh gosh. Yes, there we are. All the way through on both sides. The little wibblies to put on. I'm excited. I've not seen them. Not seen one of painters before. And even I think my plan has worked, that even my bodged, mucked up version looks ace. You don't need to be amazing. It's a hobby. You don't have to be the best at it. You just have to have fun. There we are. It's done. Wow. So obviously ignore all of the white glue. I'm really happy with that. I'm gonna. Sh I'll show you some proper, proper angle of it. Oh, oh yeah, and the right way up. That might help. He, lovely little tractor fella. I'm gonna call him John. John the tractor. And a land army sat there driving it.
yeah you'll have probably have to cut the wheel off and affix a different one on but that'll be easy in the modeling hobby right i will cut i will do a cut but only so that i can move the camera again and i will show you dun, dun, dun. i'll show you i'm next to some some friends pause that Hello, we're now at ground level, it's a fancy ground level cam, which is wobbling because it's in my hand. So I've set up a little scene which helps show the, show the tractor in some context and shows off some of the amazing miniatures I have. So I've got some ladies being land army there. This is uh, one, of, one of the ladies from the village. She's very angry that somebody has parked that I saw there. I say, who is going to move this tractor? Very loud, dreadful things. Do not like. She's rubbish and she doesn't know that tractors are great and help you harvest all your lovely food that you eat, woman. And then the tractor in its glory, still wet. I'm going to try and move it and make sure I think this instructions. Very, very professional backdrop, as you can see. But yes, I've given him, he's a bit of a slant because of my rush, but that is lovely and it's eight pounds. Why haven't you bought one yet? If you're watching this, you should go and get a tractor. Because it's so cool. That is so cool. So in scale, we've got we've got this land army. She drove it over. She's now doing some some work. But she says, oh, what's that flown over? What's a spitfire? And little dog's barking. Because it's like, what's going on? Ooh, ooh. There's Nora in the background, she's just digging away. She's not going to let anything distract her. But let's just put these ladies' stories aside next to Tractorland and the doggo. He's a large doggo, he's a um, Swedish Valhund. <laughs> but he seemed, I wanted to put him in, so wasn't just people. But how lovely is that? Uh, absolutely over the moon. And I can't wait to show you what's coming as well. It's just going to be fantastic. I love this so much. I love, look how amazing that is painted. Zoom out, what? The character in that, the sculpt and the paint job, I just, just blow my mind. It's one of the reasons these are my favorite range. Oh, look at that, it's beautiful. But this is about the tractor. Let's look at that tractor one last time. Bring it out. Hey, look, you can see it being filmed. What? Right. <laughs> Tractor, come on. There we go, we lovely beast. There it is, that's what I've just been toiling over. And that is a mighty fine creature. Again, this is lifted up a little bit because it's from my, my rubbishness. But get that clamp down. Clamp, put that on there before you put it on the tractor. Remember that. And make sure you bend it. I didn't bend it enough. Beautiful, can't wait till we've got a lady driving. Then we can go. Get all the way, I've got a field to plough. Cool, thanks for watching. Let's see if we can quickly turn back without all the mess. Yes, here I am. Thank you for putting up with that. And hopefully you've picked up some tips on how to, how to assemble your tractor and how not to assemble your tractor and do it in a lot quicker time than I have, but with some breaks. Remember to pause between various glue points for the max strength and to not make it all crumble in your hands. Thank you very much. There'll be a link below if you wanted to buy your own tractor and maybe some land army and maybe a fiddling neighbour, an interfering neighbour that's going to go and ruin everyone's fun. <laughs> I'm ducking because I've got the light on top, which is probably make it... Cool. Goodbye. I've got stuff to do. Like upload this. <laughs> hey. Bye.